It's showtime. Everybody is the G Rock 100, and welcome back to more of Pokemon Coliseum. In the last episode, we arrived at Rogam Tower, and we had not so successful uh, for beginnings. But no more of that. This time, my team is sort of out for blood at this point. But the only real thing that's been kind of stopping me right now is. Dealing with that Dakum guy that we had to deal with from earlier. If I had I not hit a truly fully healed Pseudo Widow, I probably would have won. But that's okay. Because now, with my team kind of leveled up a little bit, well, I guess a little bit more. I, I, guess. I ain't thinking of what I'm going to do. Ugh. I think what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna focus on her trying to take out all these guys as fast as I can. Because we got a handful of fights in it that are coming up, and I really do hope we want to get through that. So I've already covered Dakum from before. So we might as well well. Might as well hey, give it another go. Also, I just now I kind of noticed. I, I kind of think the order stole her that necklace from him. I think he kind of chopped it up afterwards. All right. Please paralyze it. That'd be fantastic. No! Crap. Maybe a critical hit on this? Yes! Okay. We're already out to a pretty good start. <laughs> Wish cash. Okay. Target the fortress next. I'm kind of thinking that maybe I should teach either Flygon or Meganeo an earthquake, because they're both capable of learning it. But I think that'll kind of leave me with far too much to chance. That is 
gonna hurt. Hooray, I live! Oh, Christ. Okay, yeah, I got a little bit cocky on that one. But what I probably should have done is seen if I can have him learn Fire Blast. I probably could have made things a little bit easier. But, oh well, I guess it's... Beggars can't be choosers. What are you gonna do? So what I think what I'll do instead, I'll probably try to go for the low kick approach on that. Or not. We're probably gonna go for that earthquake. Well, not today, buddy! <laughs> Seven. All right, clay it off. Yeah, I got to hey, try to keep going here for the low kick on that fortress. That's our only best bet. I know Clayton's probably a little bit heavier, but. Even I don't like my odds sometimes. Ah, oh, okay. One more razor leaf on, on the, the fortress ought to do it. Or not. Alright, now I hope for a flinch, because that'll be great. Or not. That was a critical hit. Jeez. Yeah, I think I can safely say that Meganium's are going to be my star player for this team. Do a body slam on the fortress, and then we'll call it a day. Or not. Alright, there goes the Claydol. Do. Switch things up a little bit. Uh oh. That's gonna burn. Badly. I need you to flinch. Don't use Earthquake. Yes! Alright. Lots of thinking now. That Fortress is definitely gonna worry me. Because it'll also have Explosion. Luckily, I still have Espeon, who's pretty much untouched. Okay, never mind. Didn't need to worry about it. 
Okay, that's actually kind of cute. And good night! <laughs> what did I lose to this punk? Well, last time was a tie, so. In all the time I've been battling my own losses and came in at the hands of Master Nascor and you. Now take that. It's your passport to terror and despair. You think you're turning back? Now it's the time to do it. Going on to mommy. <laughs> Why is he walking like he has a fur wedgie? Or a rash. Alright. Well, I guess there's really only one more location for us to go to. And of course, gusts to heal. Because healing is important, kids. All right. One more big bad boss I have to deal with in here. Was it defeated Mirror B, and we defeated Venus. At least. Yeah, that's it. Because we have you guys. So there's only one more guy that we gotta deal with. And I'm gonna be honest, I'm not exactly looking forward to this fight. Um, so how should I start off the team? Hmm. Let's do that. Here we go. Well, well. So you have come, hand in hand, like a happy couple on an aimless stroll. Well, let me inform you, this is no picnic. You will never defeat me who is such a frivolous mind. You did not start it off with the Pokemon that I was expecting. Then again, these guys have a tendency to mix things up. Yeah, whatever. His first Pokemon! Crobat! Level 48! A poison flying type! Inner focus for the ability! Protect Toxic Fly and Bite! Main Netric! A level 50! Pure electric type with lightning rod for the ability! With Thunder, Bite, Toxic, and Protect! This guy's in a mean use as being a Toxic Staller! Alright. And of course. Yeah, get used to seeing this. Where's feet when we need it? Alright. That. Uh, let's do that on the miniature cube. Uh oh. So yeah, Toxic Staller! But... You, sir... Made a grievous mistake.
So yeah, if you don't have to come with any healing items or even some forest doors, this is gonna be no happy fun fight. Paralyze it. Or oh, never mind, I can't paralyze it. Right. But that will come in handy though. The badly poison. Exact same thing. All right. Gonna be fine. We are going to be just fine. Well, oh, okay. So take down the crowbat. All right. Next up is going to be Pelipper, level forty nine. Hit Water fly inside with key knife for the ability. Rain dance toxic fly surf. Kind of an interesting dang choice for a polyper. But then again, I've seen him and dealt with weirder. Alright. Yeah, yeah, I'll send out the right code for this turn. Kinda saw that one coming. Rhydon! Level 50! Ground rock type! Lightning rod for the ability! Dig, rock slide, protect, toxic! Alright. So I think what I'll do for this turn... I'll use the full heal on the beginning, so I can at least prevent it from... Potentially being knocked out this turn. There goes the right on. <laughs> All right. His last Pokemon, Stormy, level 49, Water Psychic type, Natural Cure for the ability. Thunder, Psychic, Rain Dance, Hydro Pump. Could potentially have this fight kind of in the bag. Only question is, am I faster though? No, I'm not. But you know, you, sir, played it into my hand. Because, have you not had him kind of caught in his right coat from before? So it wouldn't have been main air track. But guess what? I'm using your own Pokemon against you. <laughs> oh no! You're going to fly up in the air, Belly Burr! Oh no! What am I ever going to do? <laughs> oh no! Just kidding! You all in the air. Womp womp. He has improved since our last meeting. Yeah, it's called purifying your Raikou. Friggin' moron. Ugh. It's a shame that you oppose us, Wes. Here, you says. Go on, open the door with it. <laughs> what a ways beyond the door? Why, you should see it with your own eyes. Huh? Oh. Hello? Ig! 
Egan. Dear Wes, this is Egan of Agate Village. Agane Village, excuse me. I just wanted to let you know this is my first electronic mail. I'm not familiar with the high-tech thing, so I have only learned how to, to type in words. And incidentally, if you're ever in... in Grandpa, he must cut off before he finally gets to the point. What should we do, Wes? Should we go back to Agate Village, or should we keep going? You actually want to head on back! Trust me, you want to head back. Before doing anything else. Boys and girls are back to full strength. But oh, trust me, not for long. So this is what's going on back at Agate Village. I know some people are probably asking me why am I saying big in Agate rather than Agate. Trust me, I found out the hard way for myself one day. At least it give us something that will give us a better emphasis on the E. Hello. Oh, Yuki and Wes! It's good to see you back. I sent you an email. I'm quite proud of myself for that. We got it, but it was caught off before we got to anything worthwhile, Grandpa. Oh, is that so? That's odd. Well, since you're here, it would be just as well to tell you in person. <laughs> I've got something I'd like Wes to have. Please, take this. The Master Ball! Now, Wes, Yuki, it's time for you to go. Bring down the criminal syndicate threatening world peace. It's time for the news. According to authorities, there's a criminal syndicate seeking world domination. <laughs> You're not going to tell us anything about the Ragum Tower being operational now? Sheesh, you guys are worse at keeping up with these sort of things. So, with the Master Ball in hand. You don't want to use this all willy-nilly. Trust me, it's going to be a lot of things and that we're going to be doing beforehand. There is one Shadow Pokemon that I am actually pretty confident he didn't use it or not because I consider that to be probably the hardest Shadow Pokemon to deal with in the game. But you don't have to take my word for it. You guys get to see for yourself later on. Alright. Oops. I want to go to the where Mirror B was at. You take a break. I know that the choice of Pokemon probably going to be using at first may sound unusual, or rather seem unusual, but I have a good reason behind this. You don't have to take my word for it. So, there's only one last location for us to go to, and that's really right here.
Whoa, stop right there! I can't very well let you go any farther. Yep, we're not out of the woods yet. Dio. Sure. Alright. Rid of that and masquerade. That's gonna be one of the fastest Pokemon to deal with out here. Alright. Heracross! He's a shadow Pokemon! Heracross! Plain and simple, this is, by none, the best bug and fighting type Pokemon that you'll be finding in the game. It doesn't evolve, it doesn't need to. Just look at those stats. They are downright beautiful. It may not be the fastest in the DOS, but don't be fooled. The real big negatives that I have to give to this thing is that it holds a serious weakness to a fighting and flying. And the starting movesets that I have are not exactly the best of it to go with. But that does not mean that that is useless. Especially since it is that the physical special subject is in wonders for a later on. And the fact that it has, well, Brick Brick and Shadow Rush as it is right now, being as great as it is. What do you have to lose on this? I guess uh, maybe you know, Black Lost and Defense and not so much to be, but you can get hit by that no problem. Just remember that it has major weaknesses that you gotta deal with. But other than that, Heracross is great. Just be careful with those powerful fighting type moves that you gotta deal with before snagging it. I guess I probably should mention that, um, out of both of its abilities, Guts is probably the best one to go for. But, oh well. Uh, let's set up a reflect on this one. Because I really want to counteract it all with those fighting moves. One! Two! Oh, crap! I forgot! Brick Brick shatters that wall and does additional damage. That's not a good sign. Alright. Here we go, fire! One, two, three! Yes! Oh, that would have been disastrous. That would have been disastrous. All right, who said a word about you being this tough? Hey, that's your problem, not mine. Hello. Wes, I did it! I analyzed the data ROM and managed to extract a partial list of Shadow Pokemon. For the time being, I've identified 29 Shadow Pokemon. There appears to be more, so I'll send the updates on when I find them. Good. Great. 
So I probably have like what? 35 at this point? Oh. I did not mean to show that. I guess you know that we have a Metagross in it to catch her later on, but I guess to be fair, even my thumb likes to slip up sometimes. Fanfare, please! Congratulations! You are the thousandth guest to enter Rogum Tower since its opening! Yeah, like, as if. You just, you just opened today. So that's not likely. So! We have, I think, a grand total of eight trainers in this room. And this is pretty much the only one here that is not optional. All these other guys are indeed optional. And sadly, none of them have any Shadow Pokemon. But that's okay. Focus punch. Hey. Oh no. Oh no. This guy saw through my plan. He's gonna use focus punch. This is actually kind of a rarity. I never really seen Focus Punch being used much, like at all. Ah! Ah! Seriously? You target Espeon rather than Flygon? What kind of a trainer are you? He pulled it off a second time. Really? Again, why Espeon? Level 46. Espionage level 46. You don't need to get so steamed over my little white lie. Dude, you had that coming. <laughs> but it made me be... you happy when I said you were the thousandth guest, isn't that right? All right. We have trainer battles to deal with in here. I'm gonna try my best to uh, not uh, get into any fights with them as of right now. Uh, what's there? I can't go back there. 
Whoa, hi! Where? Give you a good job, huh? <laughs> I've been waiting behind the door for you to come along. Been waiting a long time. That's a shock you've been wanting with a Pokemon battle. Of course. Giverin. Or Givern. Giverin? Alright, fine. I guess I kinda asked for that one. This guy's not that huh, much of a pushover. But now that I'm kind of thinking about it... Uh, actually, you know what? Yeah, I got some time. Uh-oh. Shocker, you're like outrageously tough. Do you know how hard it is that it's just a wait and wait and wait without moving? Try imagining it. Now think about it, eh? I doubt very much that you could keep it in him for long. <laughs> yeah, shut up. Shh, Wes, it's me, Silva. I'm stuck in here under disguise. I, I, I surprised you, huh? Oh, I surprised you, huh? That's not important, though. The word is that Cypher's boss is waiting for you on, on both, the both of you on the top of the tower. And he's supposed to have the ultimate shadow Pokemon. Wes, Yuki, good luck, and please be careful. I think we should be allowed her to retreat. Finally reached me. I must say I'm that I'm impressed. Wes and Yuki, I welcome you to the Welcome Tower. My name is Nascor. Do you remember? The time that we met in Fennec City. I did have that feeling that I would one day face you in battle. But I never imagined that you would be the one to seek me out here. Very soon we will be ready to greet your arrival in style. I will go ahead and wait for you. Don't keep me waiting too long. What's well, quick? We have to chase him. Uh, probably not. Instead, we're going here real quick. Aha! What's up, boyo? Okay, that's that then. Pokemon are all nursed back to perfect health and readiness. Now we're gonna go full tilt against you in battle. In all seriousness, this guy's not that bad. Of course, that bigger Rotha that I'm worried about. But it's a good thing I got him my uh, sweepers that are ready to go. <laughs> that is adorable. Alright. Who are you targeting? Espeon? Yep. Stage of attack bonus, powerful offensive stat. Yeesh. 
but it's okay. you. It's okay, no one likes me that much. Except for a few people. And you just uh, pulled a Houdini on us. Alright. So I think we need to do next is... Gone! What should we do, Wes? Oh, I know! How about over that way? Couldn't we take the other elevator? Oh, it's no good. We can't take this elevator either. <laughs> Long time to see, eh, Wes? You're not gonna break my heart and tell me you've forgotten my base, are you now? That base? It can't be! Team Snagum? But why here? Even if you don't want to believe it, you're absolutely right, little lady. I'm Guns at the boss of Team Snagum! And don't you forget it! Did you ask her what I'm doing here? Yes. Isn't this Cypher's headquarters? Team Snagum shouldn't have anything to do with this. <laughs> Well, surprise, surprise. We do have a lot to do with this, Missy. We were just thieves before we got a, a hold of the snag machines. And where did we get them? From Cypher. Why they wanted them was this. Go snag superior grade Pokemon from trainers everywhere. I think that Lady Anne would like a word with you. What? So this is all one big plot hatched by Cypher? That's what I'm saying. Aren't you the brainy one, Missy? Master Nasco is waiting here for the upstairs, but you, you've got me to deal with first. You got a little score to settle here. It's time that you paid him for wrecking our hideout and wiping out Team Snagum. Don't get any ideas about beating me, girl. <laughs> Can someone tell me how his eyebrows and, and mustaches work? I have all the questions right now. But, eh, whatever. Not gonna matter too much. His first Pokemon! Pinsir, level 52, pure bug type, hypercutter for the ability. Submission, earthquake, cut, flail. Uh, Hariyama, level 53, pure fighting type with guts for the ability. With the moves Brick Brick, Earthquake, Foresight, Reversal. Don't be fooled. God's app isn't a no pushover. He has some of the most powerful Pokemon that you'll be seeing throughout the game. And he means it. Up. Oh. Okay. <laughs> okay, that one was on you, buddy. All right. Next up, Shift Tree, a level 53 Grass Dark type and with Chlorophyll for the ability. With Giga Dream, Faint Attack, Shadow Ball, Aerial Ace. If you have a Sun Summoner, don't even bother using it. It's not gonna be happy. Roger, we'll be happy. Browsers will be great, though. Or not. Um, uh, dude? Why are you helping me? I mean, sure you took out Espeon, but come on! Alright. Let's do... Uh, 
Umbreon. Alright. Counteracted that rather nicely. Go for a Dragon Breath on you once again. That takes out the pincer. Next up, it's gonna be Chronon's level 52 water dart type hyper cutter for the ability. Crab hammer, strength, sludge bomb, aerial ace. Be thankful that crab hammer is still technically considered special in this game. Uh oh. Because if it was the next generation. Whew! It would be doing a lot more damage to you. Alright, uh, let's. I gotta keep using Dragon Breath. It's my best option. Chronos definitely going to be one of the banes of my existence. So. Uh oh. Oh yeah, yeah. Ouch. Uh -oh. All right. Uh, Raiko, get out there. For the poison. Use the thunder on the chronon. Go for a toxic on the shift tree. All right. That takes care of the meat to shrimp. His last Pokemon. Skarmory, level 47, a uh, steel flying type. With either keen eye or sturdy for the ability, holding the sharp beak. Shadow Rush, Metal Sound, Air Cutter, Steel Wing. Skarmory is one of the best defensive walls you will find in the game. Aside from the Fortress. If you are looking for a very, very good Pokemon, this is it. That Shadow Rush will become Drill Pick, and it becomes a very nice and defensive on wall that actually does some good damages. The real big thing here to really kind of watch out for is that while I do want to love this old Pokemon to death, it's sadly not in the best in a position to helping out Hunterful with handling with a lot of hits because a lot of the moves are kind of special in this game. And Skarmory is sadly not one of those Pokemon that can handle such a thing. That doesn't mean that it's useless. That Sharp Beak will raise the power of all the flying time moves in the user. And the best part is, flying I believe is still counted as physical in this game. And that Sharp Beak just makes it all the more powerful. Just be wary, this thing isn't going to be hard hit to catch, hard to raise. But if you can get by all that, Skarmory is a very nice member to have for, if you're ever looking for a flying member of the team, or you're just looking on trying to finish things off as fast as you can. Alright.
Let's level 45. Very good. Rock slide will definitely come in handy. And let's start chucking them balls at it. Here we go. One, two. Scar is also hard to catch. So if you managed to catch it, congrats to you. Oh, and it raises its defense. Right. All right. Um, I guess we could try an Ultra Ball. The Master Ball I'm not going to be using, but we're definitely going to want it to save it for later. All right. There's that. Nine ball set. Fire! Initiated capture sequence. One. Two. Three. Been two so far. <laughs> All right. Let's try another one. We'll go for a bar just to see if we can try to wither it down just a little bit more. We should be good from there. Then again, it's gonna be that shadow rush that's also gonna be a big annoyance for me once it starts using it. Never mind! We're good. You could have been a lot better, Wes! What do you say, Wes? Why don't you and me team up again, just like old times? You, me, and the sand machine? You can do whatever we please. The world will be yours, eh? Yeah, no. <laughs> I figured you'd say that. But that doesn't matter anymore. There's no going back for you now. Get going. Uh... Please let this thing go down. Because I just don't remember. Yes! Okay! This is going to be your golden opportunity to purify all those shadow Pokemon that you have. And you can do some last and a minute training. And I'm pretty sure that if you do come back, I don't know if this is true, but I guess I can find out. But maybe I'll screw on doing some training as well. I think these guys are gonna will potentially rematch you, but I'm definitely gonna be doing some more off-screen training because I am not even close of being ready for this. So, what I'm going to do is I'm gonna get my team up into the 50s, go to mid 50s, and then we should be good from there. So, with all that said and done, we are going to end things off right here. Next time, we take the fight to welcome the tower and face off head up against those that have all those shadow Pokemon. And we are going to end this fight once and for all. See you guys then.